Hello, this is a short tutorial on how to make collisions and area of effects for tile sets and tile maps in Godot 4. Uh, so first of all, I'm gonna present a bit the structure that I have in here. If I go in project, project settings and I go to 2D physics, I have three layers activated and I have my first layer named the player. So this is the layer where the player is gonna uh, reside in and its collision is gonna reside in. Then I have my layer my layer 2 uh, being called world. This is the world and everything that's solid in the world. And the, and the third layer is going to be a, a hole that the player can fall into. Of course, if I want, for example, I want to make a fire layer, I'll just make another, phys another physics layer, which I'm going to call fire. But for this example, I just have these three layers, right? Now, if I go into my player, I can see that my player is a character body 2D. Yeah, so this is the player and the player has this collision shape, right? So the, the, the body needs to have a collision shape. If I go back to the, to the character body, I can see that the player, its, uh, its physics is being present in the first layer, which is also called the player layer. And it interacts with the world. Uh, what this means is that um, when, when the player is gonna slide around in the in the world, I'm gonna show the, the code a bit uh, immediately later. Uh, it means that anything that's on this layer is gonna stop the player from, from moving. The movement and the collision is being handled automatically by the engine. Just need to tell the game engine how fast your object is moving. And in order to do that, you need to set the velocity variable in here. Notice that I'm doing this not inside of the process function, but rather in the physics process function. This is telling the engine that it needs to do some physics processing. <laughs> Um, in order to do that, I am just setting the velocity to the move speed multiplied by the size of the tile. This is a specific thing that I've done for my particular game. And if your object is a character body 2D, then you can use the move and slide function, which is going to move and slide the player with this velocity, which makes it slide alongside the wall. So right now I'm pressing up and left and right and you can see that it does slide through. If I go back, I have this tile map in here. If I select the tile map, I also I already created the tile setting here. Yeah. And if I go here in the tile set editor, <coughs> I have two textures. One is the one is representing the blocks where the player cannot pass through and also the, the other one is representing the holes that the player is gonna fall through. So first I'm gonna activate this, uh, this one. So in order to do that, I will need to go into the tile map itself, double click on the tile set, which, which is going to collapse the tile set. And we can see several options in here, one of which is the terrain set. I won't go into this, maybe in a different tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a tutorial about terrain sets. But we are going to go into the physics layer. And I'm going to add a new layer, which is going to be present in the world layer. And it's not, gonna, it's not going to interact with anything else. So this layer is always present only in, in this physics layer. Now if I go back here to my tile set, I select on paint and I select the physics layer 0. I see that I have this default shape in here and I can add and paint all the tiles which are solid, right? Oh, actually, before that, let me undo all this and show you what happens before beforehand. So right now I can just pass through anything, right? I can pass through everything. The game doesn't matter. Now, when I'm going to add oops, the tile set, I'm going to add this collision for these tiles. It's going to make them solid. Notice how I'm avoiding this tile in here, because this tile is the ground and this is this is walkable. It doesn't have any collision. Now if I play, the player collides with this and doesn't get through the walls. That's great. 
but still if the player touches the balls nothing happens so let's let's fix that I select the the other tile set and I have this uh, shape but the physics layer is wrong so I need to add a new physics layer add new element I'm going to make this layer present in the whole physics layer and I'm going to select it from here physics layer 1 and just fill out all the holes okay so now if I play the player dies why, why is that happening well let me explain if I go back into my player I also added this area in here see this small area in here this area is present in the player layer but interacts with the whole layer which means whenever a body enters in this area which is from this layer is gonna create some signals and I have my signals from the body entered and body exited hooked up into the script itself where I set the inside hole to true and to false whenever it exits one of those areas and if this variable is true it's going to make the player fall and eventually it's going to queue uh, the queue free the, the object making the player die now if I would want to make fire for example I would make the same thing I would make a I would make an area which is the hitbox for where the player would get hurt set it to the mask that I want and also in the tile set itself I would mask with the proper physics layer. I really hope this is helpful and let me know in the comments if you have any more questions. Thank you for watching.